and Georgie all alone. I have a Zeta. Georgie all alone. When Georgie, the cat, feels left out by his twin's friend, he decides to run away. Will he come back to face his twin and his friends? Once in a faraway land, well, maybe not that far away, lived two ginger cats. They were brothers, Freddy and George, and they were twins. Their eyes were the deepest brown, like chocolate brown. They were almost identical from head to paw. The only difference was Freddy was more outgoing and louder. Georgie, on the other hand, was more shy, and sure, he was loud, but he was a rational thinker. They were the mischief of their family, always getting in trouble at home and school. They lived under this bat, big and tall oak tree. It was a burrow type home where they lived with all their family. One day, a typical normal school day, Freddie and George, Georgie were on their way to school. Both had many friends and were sort of popular. On the way, Georgie had a thought, well, more like a sad feeling. Yet, once they got to school, Georgie got a bit sad. Georgie, feeling he could talk to Fred, decided to speak up. Don't you ever wonder how people like you more, Freddie? He questioned. Freddie thought Georgie was being silly. They were both twins and they always got treated the same. Well, at least that's what Freddie felt. Of course not, Georgie, he said. Don't be silly. Our friends like us both the same. Freddie couldn't believe Georgie would think such a thing. With that, they approached the school. All of their friends were running up to meet them. Freddie, Freddie, their friends chanted, almost taunting poor Georgie. Georgie couldn't explain all of the sad emotions he was feeling. His eyes welled up with tears. Georgie was upset about everything at that moment. In that particular moment, he decided to do what he knew best. Georgie, with tears in his eyes, decided to run away. He ran away from the school, from his friends and Freddie. Georgie, Freddie called out, but Georgie was long gone. He turned around furious. Why would you do that? He tried to follow Georgie, but it was no use. Georgie couldn't understand the fact that people favored Freddie more. Georgie was all alone now, and he didn't know what to do. He was lost, confused, and sad. He decided to run away, and now he didn't know where to go. He decided to walk around and explore the park to get his mind off his problems. Georgie came across a small lake and decided to sit and take a breather for a moment. Suddenly, he heard a tiny, hello, sir. Who said that, Georgie said as he looked all around. Down here, sir, over here, the tiny voice called. Georgie looked down and he saw the prettiest little butterfly he could ever see. I've noticed you look upset, sir. My name is Bree the Butterfly. Oh, what a beautiful butterfly you are, Bree. My name is Georgie. Bree could sense something was wrong. You look upset. What seems to be the problem? asked Bree. Suddenly, Georgie went on a full story about what happened and how he felt. I know it's my fault I feel this way, and I don't want to blame Freddy in any way. He is my brother and my best friend. I just feel like people like him more than me. Bree the Butterfly was speechless and couldn't say anything until she thought of something. If, peace, if people can't appreciate the way you are and who you are, they aren't your friends, Georgie. Friends don't pick who's the better twin, and you should know that. You have real friends in your circle. You must pay attention. Mm -hmm. The biggest friend you have is your brother, Freddie. He wouldn't want you to feel this way. Everybody is their own person. Georgie thought about all of Bree's advice, and he knew Bree was right. Georgie was his own person with his great qualities, and if people didn't see that, they weren't real friends. Thank you, Bree. Now I really must go now. Class is about to start, and I have to talk to Freddie. Goodbye. Bree couldn't just send him just sent him a wink and flew away. Freddy, Freddy, Georgie called as he was running. He ended up bumping into Freddy. Georgie, thank goodness you're okay. I'm so sorry you had to leave. Georgie didn't even let Freddy finish when he engulfed him in a big hug. They both apologized to each other and suddenly everything was okay. You don't need to be jealous if people can't see what an amazing cat you are. Friends need to appreciate you by who you are, advised Freddy. With that, both Freddie and Georgie walked into school together and they sat with their real friends. Georgie was happy with Freddie and B.